Will, will the club celebrate Michael? Definitely. Yeah, we should. It's hard. I'm struggling to understand what the payoff even is for him coming back. Like, why? They why? Him, why? This is a disgraceful look for all women in rugby league. You know, you can under, people can have their opinion, but I feel really proud about what we're doing as a club to get a player that's bled in our jersey to get back on his feet and to get his, his life and his family life back in order. That's the celebration. The NRL has declared that Sydney Roosters veteran Michael Jennings will not be officially recognised for his 300th game on Thursday due to concerns regarding his past conduct. This announcement follows warnings to the NRL that it would be deemed as a disgraceful look for all women in rugby league if CEO Andrew Abdo presents Jennings with his 300th game ball. I don't think Andrew Abdo needs to be in a photo with Michael Jennings. Yep. The Roosters will apply to bring him back. Get the Roosters to do it. Yep. Get Robbo to present it to him. Mm. Jennings, who returned to the NRL this season at the age of 35 after serving a three-year ban for using performance-enhancing drugs, faces controversy surrounding a civil court case involving his ex-wife. I don't know, you know, you could probably make an argument whether after everything that's happened in terms of the civil case, whether you want somebody like Michael Jennings, you know, on, on that list at, at your club. The Daily Telegraph's Buzz Rothfield, who is a model citizen when it comes to respecting women, just like his Fox League deskmate Paul Kenty, wrote an open letter to Abdo, urging him not to present the 300 game ball to Jennings due to concerns about integrity stemming from the 2021 court case. Well, yeah, look, I'm really worked up about this one and I've written an open letter to Andrew Abdo today urging him not to go to Newcastle to present the 300-game ball to uh, Michael Jennings as he does with other footballers who reach that milestone. Rothfield emphasised that while Jennings served his suspension for drug use, he has yet to comply with the court's ruling regarding compensation to his ex-wife, creating a contentious issue for the league. There is a massive, massive integrity issue here around uh, a civil court case uh, in 2021 where he was found guilty of sexually assaulting his ex-wife, Kira Will, not once but four times. Despite the NRL board approving the Roosters request to re-register Jennings as an NRL player this year, his ex-wife's lawyers have stated that she has not received any payment from him. Jennings was ordered to pay his ex-partner. She was so shattered by you know, what had happened. He was ordered to pay his ex-wife $500,000 in damages. He has not paid back one cent of that money. And this is a, no this is a disgraceful look for all women in rugby league. If Andrew Abdo travels up the highway and presents the game ball to him under these circumstances. While the NRL reversed its decision to commemorate Michael Jennings' 300th NRL game, Roosters players still expressed their unwavering support for recognising and celebrating Jennings' milestone, but in a more private manner. Yeah, mate, it's unreal, I think. Um, yeah, I didn't know him before he came in this year, but he's just been such a great addition to the squad. Will, will the club celebrate Michael? Definitely. Yeah, we should. Um, you know, it's 300 games. Um, but also the celebration's uh, a little bit different. And I don't think, you know, fireworks and streamers and all that, that that's not what it's about. You know, the external thing, people can have their judgment, but we're going to really celebrate him, his 300 games, in the way that, 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 that he's done it. And we're going to celebrate it humbly and, and get on with work and get on with the path that we've been on with him for the last uh, six months. So let me know what you guys think about this whole Jennings situation. Should he have been allowed back into the NRL in the first place? Whose fault is it, allowing someone that allegedly raped his wife on multiple occasions back into the game? Let me know in the comments section below. Cheers.